Ukrainian tanks are joining us in the news. It's eight. Today, the 31st day in the month of October 2022, I am last Samuel Ibano, first the major airlines. New Black Movement completes renovation of damage facility at Police CID Umwaya. Malami promoting ethnic agenda against Nam the Kanu and Emibo IPOP says. President Mohamed Buhari jets out to United Kingdom for medical checkup. These are the major headlines. We'll be right back with details and many more after the commercial. Stay connected. It has been said that 70% of home buyers settle for their first home when they see it. Over time, we have created a wide range of happy customers by building the homes that suit their needs. Why settle for average when you can have a luxury home inside a gated estate in Lagos? Welcome to Kenzo Luxury Homes, a development by Kenzo Group of Companies Nigeria Limited. Our featured home is a gorgeous private home of five bedrooms with a room BQ located at a serene and beautiful environment at Lekki Palm City Estate, Aja Lekki, Lagos. Finely crafted and designed specifically to give you the luxury and comfort you deserve. Why make this your next home? The features include Five bedrooms with a room BQ, spacious living room, all room en suites, stunning master bedroom, modern fitted kitchen, serene neighborhood, carefully designed staircase, private swimming pool, detailed finishing, and large compound space. This home sits on 500 square meters. The title is General C of O. Price 130 million naira. For details and inspection, please call 0903 717 9034. Be a smart investor. Guarantee your family a secured future with Kenzo Luxury Homes. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now on the details. In an effort to contribute to the security of the people of Abia State and its Enveru, New Black Movement of Africa, MBM, has completed the renovation of a burnt oil within the premises of Criminal Investigation Department, CID, in the Abia State Police Command in Umwaya. Young Miss Esther Ugochi Kalu has won the second season of the Niger Spirit Talent Hunt with a grand prize of 7 million naira. Esther Ugochi Kalu, professionally known by her stage name, Uji Royalty, also gets an all expense paid trip to Dubai and Kenya. ABN TV report that Esther Ugochi hails from Amaogu, Oafia, in Oafia local government area of Abia State. Umozuku Ibeku in Umwaya North local government area of Abia State on Thursday, 27th October, witnessed a massive presence of prominent Abia sons and daughters, led by no less a person than State Governor. Dr. Kese Ipazu. Their mission in the community was to pay last respect to a man who has been described as a mentor, bridge builder, and peace advocate, as well as a former deputy chairman of the local government, Sir Michael Onyebuchi, who was laid to rest on that fateful day. In the face of a continued detention of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, IPOP has accused Anthony General and Minister of Justice Alaji Abubakar Malami of promoting ethnic agenda against Nam Kanu and Enigbo in general. President Mohamed Bari is on his way to United Kingdom for a medical checkup. Femi Adishino, his spokesman, disclosed this on Monday, saying the president will return to the country in the second week of November. President Mohamed Bari is currently meeting with the security chiefs to further review and strengthen nation's security network. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that the president suspended some of his official engagements, including the inauguration of the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, NASENI, New Technology and Innovation Complex, to preside over the emergency meeting with the security chiefs. River State Governor Yesen Wiki has challenged PDP National Chairman. Dr. Iocha Ayu to stop any PDP candidate from contesting the 2023 general elections. Governor Yeson Wiki, who spoke to the journalist in Port Court on Sunday, reacted to the statement credited to PDP National Chairman that Ayu has the right to stop those fighting him from contesting the 2023 election. National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAPDAC, has debunked a report claiming that children in Nigeria were being administered a vaccine that contained 40% mercury, which was prescribed by foreign organizations. 
197 drivers of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission AFCC has completed a three-month training at the Nigerian Army School of Supply and Transport, Benin City, Edo State. Speaking at their personal ceremony, the AFCC chairman, Abdul Rashid Bawa, commended the Army for allowing the commission to use its facility to train the drivers. On foreign scene, reports have it that Twitter under Elon Musk's term may charge $20 per month to approve a user's request for a verification badge. The social media platform was recently purchased by Mox, the richest man in the world, for an astounding $44 billion. Those who have already been verified reportedly have 90 days to subscribe or they will no longer be verified. While on spot, Paul Poba has reportedly sustained a muscular injury in training and is increasingly unlikely to make the France squad for the World Cup. And this brings us to the end of the news, it's 8. But before we go, recap of our major headlines. New Black Movement complete renovation of damaged facility at Police CID Umaya. Malame promoting ethnic agenda against the Namdu Kanu and Indigo. IPOP says President Mahmoud Buhari jets out to UK for medical checkup. For these and many more, you can log on to our website at www.abntv.com.ng. You can as well visit any of the social media platforms displayed on your screen. I am Adesha Last Samuel Imano. Have a very good evening.